good job. I have a motivational um, tidbit that I use to prop my vision. You've heard me say progress is better than perfection, and that's just something that I can you're going to be like, okay, I'm tired of about that, because that's all I talk about. I like calm and relaxing photos of water. I like flowers. I like to read. I like to be outside with horses. There's a, um, two photos I didn't have permission to use. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that was like a personal, engaging, interesting person that you want to have or uh, to follow or get to know. Yes. Okay, on the strive for progress, you said that um, you can't do things without getting permission. So do you, do you have to get permission for something like that? Um, I pulled that off the of word, word swag, which is an app that I use, and you can type in all of this, everything that I've talked all the apps, Google will do this at the end of the presentation, and it's also listed in the Facebook page. But they're, they're programs that aren't free, but I pay like $40 a year for them, and I can type in a progress motivational meme, and it'll pop up something like that. And so then you can legitimately use it. Yeah, or I can create it from scratch if I want to. But those apps help you learn how to do that. And once you figure out, once you teach yourself how to use them, it takes you literally less than five minutes. It's easier to create it than go record on it. And we want to get to that stage, because when you're creating your own content, you start to have more creativity and flow and innovation about how you deliver your content, and that's when you're really running your business and you're working on your business rather than in your business. And we want to get you through this awkward stage of working in your business so you're working on your business. Once you have a couple of clients and some client flow, we'll get you an assistant and we'll just kind of streamline the whole thing for you. And then it gets a lot more fun. But these are the goals. So when you're talking to people in comments on Instagram, it's really important that you take the time to respond with more than a few emojis. And you hashtag the respond with our handle in the comment because it sends them a notification and it notifies anybody that they are following that doesn't have their um, privacy settings set to strict. So it benefits you in the long run. It looks a little spammy, but that's fine. It's totally worth it in the end. It's just another way to farm your content and bring more people to your content. So you wanna. Try to do more than their handle. You know, I would hashtag um, or ask for tips with the rub more than Mary. I just, you know, I say all kinds of things like, oh, great, no problem, no biggie, no worries. I'm very relaxed when I'm on Instagram because it's a visual platform. I encourage you to be a little more personal with people on Instagram. So, one disclaimer. And I learned this the hard way. People on LinkedIn, usually most of them have a master's degree. And they use LinkedIn as a way to make um, connections uh, with other colleagues, with other businesses. It's a very business-heavy platform. 